Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So today we are going to see interview questions that were asked to few of my, one of my subscriber in multiple companies, right? So he had actually applied for automation testing position. So these are the questions that he was asked in the TCS interview. So the first question, as it is very common, tell me about tell me something about yourself. Then explain your project and roles and responsibilities. Explain your framework. What is POM, Page Factory, how to use, what are the benefits? What is the written type of get window handles, right? So it is set string. Explain OOPS concepts used in your framework. Explain Selenium architecture, difference between list and set. What is written type of find elements? It is list web element, right? And similarly, you can also get question on what is written type of find element. Then what is the difference between find element and find elements? So these are the very few common interview questions that you would get in any of the company, not only in this company, right? Then explain web driver, driver equal to new Chrome driver. What is the significance of keeping new keyword over here? Then can we write Chrome driver, driver equal to new Chrome driver, agile ceremonies, interview. So his interview was over within 15 to 20 minutes, right? And his technical interview was done. He was shortlisted for HR round. Okay. Next is this Optum company. So there is a typo over here. Right. So in the Optum company, the interviewer didn't ask him about the introduction. He directly started with the framework explanation, right? Then what is form? How have you implemented it? Find XPath for dynamic web elements. So he was given some of the website and from that he had to uh, find out the XPath, relative XPath. Then write code for printing all the list of web elements. Explain Selenium architecture. So this question is almost common. STLC, SDLC, difference between STLC and SDLC. Project explanation, reverse string program. Right. So this was the first round. Then there was a telephonic round as well. In this, it was almost, uh, I would say it was teleperformance panel interview one hour. So so it might be the questions with respect to panel interview, right? Which lasted for one hour, right? So let me go through these questions as well. In this, he was asked, tell me something about yourself. Explain your framework again. What is data driven? What is POM? Write code for take screenshot. Write code for Excel sheet. Also dynamic Excel sheet code. How do you ha handle window, right? How do you handle iframes? Drag and drop, right click, action class. So how do you perform uh, drag and drop or how do you do right click via Selenium, right? Then again, these OOPS concepts, how have you implemented these OOPS concepts in your project? And you have to give some example. How will you handle dynamic XPath, right? So you can explain using contains, start with all those kind of methods. How will you perform cross browser testing? Then. He also got questions on test ng annotations like data provider parameters, right? Then in automation testing, how will you assign defect to a developer? So this is again, see whether it is automation or it is manual testing, you will have a discussion with them if they are not agreeing with the defect, but you will use the same defect management tool to assign defect to a developer. Okay. Or uh, over here, it might also, you might also tell them about the CI CD integration in which once the automation is completed, you are directly assigning the defect via, you are creating the defect and in the JIRA directly itself via the CI CD integration. So this is done. Then the few of the manual testing questions. So explain bug life cycle, Right. So what are the various stages that you have of the bug, new, reopen, closed, all those things. Then you have what is the difference between authorization and authentication? Again, the question on agile ceremonies. Then what are the artifacts in agile, the various documentation that we do in agile, the difference between regression testing, retesting, functional and non-functional. Now, with respect to API testing, again, these are few of the common questions that were asked to him right so what is collection explain how will you perform api testing then he got some questions on postman tool the status code 
201, 200, okay, 400, 404. Then current operations, get, post, update, delete. Okay. So these are API testing questions. Then with respect to SQL, if you are, you know, if, if you are going to have some uh, database testing interview questions, so you can explain such, uh, you can expect such kind of questions like explain constraints, joins, inner, right join, left join, outer join, full join, explain various commands in SQL. Then what is DML, what is DDL, delete, truncate, drop, difference, so these are the questions you can expect. Then these are miscellaneous questions like explain Git flow, write commands in text box. How will you connect Git to GitHub? How will you push and pull your code? Then one more question, which is very common is how will you resolve merge conflicts? Then Git bash commands also DevOps tool, Jenkins, CI, CD. How will you run your, your test suits every day or weekly? So again, uh, the integration. Tell me one critical scenario which you handled in your project or they can also ask, tell us some critical defect that you had found in your project. Okay. Then again, the final round was taken from him and it was a telephonic round. It was about 45 minutes of duration. <clears throat> then in this again, introduction, tell us something about yourself. Can you develop a framework? Explain whole process, how it works. Explain how you find out of scope for automation, agile meetings, discussions, client interactions, explain modules in project, explain challenges that you have faced in the project, explain how will you perform API testing, right? Then they can also ask how much you are comfortable with SQL, Java, whichever programming language you would have written for automation, how much you are comfortable with those things, what is your team size, what is your exact role, right? company domain, benefits, are you okay with the okay ship? So it might be UK ship for him, right? One of my subscribers who applied over there. So these are the few common questions that he was asked in Optum, as well as the TCS interview questions that we have covered for automation testing role, right? So if you are applying in these companies for automation testing like TCS, Optum, then these are the type of questions you can expect. Again, you cannot expect the same to same questions, but on the same lines, you can expect such questions. So we would be uploading this document in, in our LinkedIn profile as well. So you can refer the interview questions over there. You can download the document and let us know if you have further queries or you can also comment on the video. Also, if you have given any interviews, if you are still awaiting for the result or if you have got selected, so please, please do share all the interview questions with us at rdautomationlearning at gmail.com. You can send us via email. Just no need to do any sort of formatting. Just write it in a text text file, in a notepad file, in a Word document. That would also do. No fancy formatting required. That is absolutely fine. Or you can also send a PDF like this. Right? So thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, stay tuned for more updates.